January has been a good month for Maryland basketball, which has won seven straight heading into Monday night's showdown against Michigan State. It's also been a good month for former TERP players in the NBA, including third-year forward Jake Lehman, who scored all 20 of his points in the second quarter of the Portland Trailblazers' 128-112 win over the New Orleans Pelicans Friday night. He gets hot and it's just like, there's nothing nobody can do, said Blazers forward Mo Harkless, who returned from injury the same game and replaced Lehman in the starting lineup. We see it all the time in practice. For him to be able to go out there and do it in front of everybody, it's pretty cool. It's exciting and I'm happy for him, up until recently, Lehman hadn't scored in double figures in back-to-back -back games in his career. But since replacing a struggling Nick Stauskas in the rotation at the beginning of the new year, his confidence has soared and over his last four outing he's averaging 16 points on 67.5% shooting in 21 minutes. By going off in Harkless' first game back, he made a statement that after two-plus inconsistent seasons he might be here to stay. For at least a night, Blazers beat reporter Joe Freeman wrote, Harkless and Lehman quieted talk about the team needing to add another wing with the trade deadline less than a month away and Portland 4.5 games behind the Golden State Warriors in the Western Conference standings. We've seen it a few times, Blazers center Myers Leonard said of Lehman's scoring outburst. I don't know to that level. But he can play above the rim, he can space the floor, he can get hot, make threes. And he's a fun player to watch, honestly. Just as his teammate, it's fun to watch, our guy at Jay Lehman 10 out here giving the world a 101 lesson on. Herter, the NBA rookie leader in three-point shooting, is averaging 18.8 points and 4.3 assists per game over the past 10 days, while Len is averaging 15 points and 7.8 rebounds. They help the Hawks, who are slowly pulling away from the New York Knicks, Chicago Bulls and Cleveland Cavaliers in the cellar of the Eastern Conference beat both the Philadelphia 76ers and the Oklahoma City Thunder during that stretch. CBS Sports ranked Herter as the fourth best rookie last week behind top five picks Luka Doncic, DeAndre Ayton and Trey Young. As impressive as Trey Young has been, Herter has been just as important to the Hawks' recent mini-run of success, they wrote. The 6-7 sharpshooter shot a scorching 12 for 21, 57%, from beyond the arc in three games this week, while averaging three assists per game. As expected, Herter has been good this season making threes in spot-up and handoff situations, but this week he displayed a strong ability to hit threes off the dribble as well, utilizing Steph Curry-esque pull-ups and James Harden-esque step-backs, and Kevin Herter is keeping that same energy. He had a team-high 1-8 points. He credits the change of scenery for his success, as he's away from the pressures of being a lottery pick and has teammates and a coaching staff that trusts him to play his game. After years of being confined to the paint, he's taking nearly two threes per game and has made 22 of them. When I hit a couple of threes, it opens up the floor. I can drive then, or I can make a play for somebody else, Len said. I think it was just Atlanta Hawks head coach Lloyd Pierce letting me shoot them. I always knew how to shoot all of my life. Before I had coaches who didn't want me to shoot, they wanted me to play to the rim, rebound, the simple things. Pierce was like, I know you can shoot. If you plan on working on it, then you can shoot it, and it's been working for me.